All right, it's uh, another week, and I'm going to be working on uh, this guy's jacket and his face today, hopefully. Time to play with some play. Okay, today is cold. It's 15 degrees, and uh, it's uh, cool in the studio, even with the heater going. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do as much as I can today on this uh, coat, and uh, see how far I get along. Well, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, and uh, I'm looking forward to this new year. Hopefully, it'll be a lot better than it's last year. And uh, that's all we can do is hope. Okay, I'm going to put some texture into this uh, lapel. And then I'm going to put stitching on the outside edge of it to uh, kind of set it apart and make it stand out. I ran some uh, clay through my pasta machine to make uh, the threads uh, to go around the edge of uh, the outer edge of this coat and its lapel. If I can find my exacto knife, I'll be really happy. Oh, there it is. Okay. Boy, hearing that wind outside puts me in the mood for doing this coat. <laughs> I just checked the uh, wind or the uh, wind chill and it's a two degrees and tonight it's supposed to be down to minus 14 in the wind chill factor. That's cold. Oh, I take down that roughness a little bit with my hands.
going to mark the uh, seam of the coat. You notice I'm making circular motions with my texturing tool. That's so that all the texture doesn't go in one direction. That it gets some fluidity to the uh, texture. Makes it interesting. Makes it look sculptured. I still have the back of the hat to do too, I mean the uh, hood, and uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. Before I do that, I gotta get the coat where I like it. When the studio is cold and your hands are cold, the clay doesn't want to react the way you want it to. It takes a little extra force. What you could be wearing on your hands and your joints. trying to show softness in this uh, hood and a kind of a constant theme of uh, a seam between the hood and the jacket itself. Alright, I'm going to try to start this back of the hat and uh, you look at a photograph to see how the folds in the back yeah I see how that works so 
it's extra material in the back of the head. I'm hoping I got enough soft clay to do this. I'm going to have the trailing edge of uh, or ed end of this uh, hood come down over his shoulder. So that's why I'm changing the direction of the hood a little bit. And I got to make the fold where the material folds back on itself. It's really hard on this joint right here. It hurts. The clay is not exactly soft. I'm just glad I don't have real achy joints for being 76 years old. <laughs> all the years of working with clay but I don't okay I gotta soften up a bunch of clay <sighs> this is tiring Alright, I've run out of uh, soft clay, um, it's really hard, and I got my lamp on it, and uh, I may have to keep my heat going overnight so I can have nice soft clay tomorrow. I started this back here, I'm not going to show you what I've done there yet because I'm not done with it yet. Um, it was a certain technique that I used to do it, and uh, I need to be able to finish it off so you can see what I did. This is the uh, tassel that hangs off the uh, bottom part of his uh, hood. And uh, I just ran out of clay to finish it up with. So I've got to get some more clay to soften up and uh, so I can do that. I'm gonna put hair coming down here. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna have it, but I'm gonna have it coming out of his hood or not. This is a shirt I'm starting here and uh, I'm thinking about using this guy here. His name was Baker. He was a mountain man and somebody painted a portrait of him and they, there's a flap of skin that comes down in front of his shirt with fringe on the outside and he has quill work on it. This is all quill work. Uh, you can tell the difference between beadwork and quill work uh, because it's flatter looking and it had a particular type of design. I love quill work. That's what they 
used before they had beads. But anyway, I'm just going to uh, do this here uh, probably next time when I get a little softer clay. So that's going to be it for today, and I'll pick this up tomorrow. I like uh, the way this design here is working out with that coming off the back here. It shows the direction of the wind is what I'm trying to do. All right. I'll show you what I'm doing tomorrow, and uh, get out of here, buddy. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.